What's peculiar mean? You think I say it too much? No. Is that a yes? <laughs> I think you say I, I've heard it because you know you forget. I gotta go watch this again. <laughs> That's right. You gotta cut the video. I gotta cut them all up. So I, I end up hearing them. Saying, I, I, I guess it's a, like a. You say it almost as much as so. Ooh. Yeah. I, it's just a better way to say interesting. Okay. Well, why did you say interesting? Because when I listen to Double Nickel Afternoons Psych, psych Mope <laughs> Psych Mope But I listen to Psych Mope on Double Nickel Zero That's all I He says it a thousand times I can't I can't f***ing stand listening to him say it anymore So I say familiar Hit that subscribe button to stay notified. Do you sit KB the last four games? There's no reason to even have him active anymore. There's no reason, right? I mean, you're paying him already, so what's the difference? Active, not active. He's so still you're not coming back next year. <clears throat> Any more film that he puts on himself is just going to hurt him. But making him an active is kind of like a big... It's a big middle finger to him, don't you think? I think he's been given the middle finger to the Bills for 12 games. I understand that, but I'm saying from an outside, from the organization standpoint, outside the organization, is it worse for him <clears throat> where he's active or inactive? I'm wondering, <clears throat> what has he done to stay on the field? Oh, that, from a schematic, from from a personnel standpoint, I know if you if you make him inactive, you're giving him the middle finger, but. What if what has he done to stay on the field? Yeah, that touchdown pass to Zay Jones, mm. he was not interested in running that route at all. It was, it was, oh, he, was, he was jogging through. Oh it. wait, I have the clearing route on this. Yeah, I'm not running. Mm -hmm. That's exactly it. He's supposed to drag the safety with him. He almost brought the safety in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but but he'd have to jogging go through the route. He'd have to, the safety would have had to go go through 300 pounds of humanity to get through there. I love that every post game show somebody talks about he's a Popeye's biscuit away from being a tight end. Two different people have said that now. Mm -hmm. It's totally true. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's so crazy, though. I mean, he had such high expectations um, from a lot of people. I mean, I didn't because I saw what he was in Carolina. Well, I knew that he was an off the field buy in issue, right? Because he has weight problems. So, I mean, he's, you can tell he's not totally about the football life. But I didn't realize that. He was not about that life at all. Hanging out with Eddie Lacy too much. Or Ricky Williams. Oh, no. Wait, he's not fat. Ricky Williams? <clears throat> Ricky Williams is not fat. No, but Ricky Williams stopped playing the NFL to go on tour with Lenny Kravitz. Ricky Williams doesn't play an instrument. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great point. <laughs> That's what happened. Uh, no, but I'm just saying, is Ray Ray McLeod hurt? I think you got a guy like him already. I think they like McKenzie better. I know, but I would like two McKenzies. Well, it's it's a matchup nightmare. Sure. Uh, <clears throat> I only imagine what Matt Nagy would do with another Tyler Gabriel. Taylor Gabriel, sorry. There you go. Uh, no, I mean no, but if you you end up having a four wide set of Ray Ray, McKenzie, Jones, and Foster. That's a lot of speed, but it's yeah, tiny. So tiny, tiny. <clears throat> but you have a guy that if the ball is all over the place, they can go down and get it. <laughs> I'm sure they're already low to the ground. <laughs> Truth be told, the reason why Benjamin is in there, he's not using it to his advantage. Mm -hmm. You're there to body guys to use your body for positioning to catch passes. You're not even doing that. That one play that he drew the pass interference, <clears throat> okay, great. You drew the pass interference. However, that should have been a touchdown. Absolutely. Because you should have just gave him that little nudge with the elbow. I got the touchdown. You're not going to drag me down. Right. I'm at the five already. You're not going to do it. Touchdown. That should have been a touchdown. I mean, Benjamin's not a fast individual. From uh, on scale of wide receivers in the NFL, he's not a fast individual on scale with other wide receivers. So you have to play physical and aggressive at his size, and he just doesn't. He 
he just no, doesn't play very physical weird, and very weird. I don't know if he's doing that because he knows he's gone and he doesn't want to get hurt. I mean, the pass interference penalty did not stop him from catching that touchdown pass. Like, he let that cornerback get on him. He let, he let that cornerback get on him. And even James Lofton said, oh, I, you know, I bet you he stretches his arms out farther when he's getting fit for a suit. That's Lofton said on the broadcast. Yeah. And I, yeah, you're right. That's, the, you, we talk about business decisions all the time. <laughs> right? He's not going across the middle, though. No. Foster is. No. Mm-hmm. Yep. Well, I mean. And Foster's, like, a cupcake away from fighting in Floyd Mayweather's division. <laughs> You know why they're not worried about Foster going across the middle? Talk to me. Because there's going to be a whole bunch of Alabama kids coming out in the draft. In oh, stop months. it. Well, prove me wrong, dude. You're not wrong. I'm just saying those Alabama kids are getting paid way more than Foster. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Save it's the devil. <laughs> <laughs> That's the devil. The foosball. You're going to play no foosball. Want to leave me alone here with Steve? Admit it, that Bobby Boucher jersey is still one of your prized yes, possessions. Yes, 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 yes. Right in my yes, I like that. Yes, thank you very much. Calvin Benjamin doesn't deserve to take any more snaps. He oh. really doesn't. But I think if you're the Bills, you're, you're going to start looking at that tight end position because you have to. You have to, right? Put him at tight end then. Oh, wait, yeah, no. Look at the tight end. Yeah, no, I'm just saying. <laughs> you, I mean, you're pretty locked in with Chrome. Well, I mean, if you're the Bills, why no. why are you going to invest any more time in Clay and Calvin Benjamin? There's no reason to. Mm-mm. No. I mean, there's no reason to. You're not going to cut him. Right? You already paid him. It's, it's stupid to cut him. Yeah, you're not going to cut him because, God forbid, you cut him and then... But a great telling sign that if you're watching the Bills and you're a fan of the Bills, if they make him inactive next game... Yeah, the That's, writing's yeah. Writing's on the wall for hey, we're just kind of feeling people out now. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, what are they going to do with the <clears> quarterbacks? <throat> Who do you think's active the rest of the year, Barkley or Anderson? To me, if you're only going to activate two quarterbacks Barkley. for the game, you activate Barkley, right? Because mm-hmm. the goal is to see if maybe especially he can stick now around. he played against the Jets. Oh yeah, that's a good point. That's a good point. So what if he's not active? Barkley? Uh huh. What if Anderson's active, not Barkley? <laughs> 